and I just want everyone to know that this is literally my third time recording this video. Hey guys, it's Osa Zen, Zen man, Osa, Sazamet, however you know me, and I'm back with another video. I would just like to sincerely apologize for not uploading for literally a month. Like, I came out with a banger and I literally slacked. Like, I'm sorry, I let y'all down. Promise that's probably, I can't even promise that, that's never gonna happen again. I've been wanting to tell you guys that I was trying to upload a video, but apparently tic TikTok, <laughs> apparently YouTube has this one rule that I can't make like the YouTube post unless I have 1K subscribers. Wah, wah. That's such a stupid rule, but hey, let me keep my mouth shut. The amount of times I tried to record this video, oh wait, I didn't even say what I was doing. <laughs> Today we're gonna be filming a makeup tutorial. I'm gonna be showing you guys basically my everyday makeup routine and just how I go about it. As I said in the beginning, this is like my third time recording this and as you can see, I'm on my bed. Here's why I'm here. The amount of times that I record this video, it pisses me off. Like. I think it was just because I was very uncomfortable and I felt kind of, I don't know, I felt kind of forced, not forced to do it, but the way I was kind of acting and stuff like that, I just feel like I was kind of forcing it. So now that I'm in my room, I kind of feel like I'm in an environment where it's like, okay, I can be whatever, you know, I can just be normal, I don't know. I don't know, I don't know. Does that make sense? I hope that makes sense. So like I said, we're going to be doing a makeup tutorial my everyday makeup tutorial we're just gonna go ahead and get started so obviously i have to take these off i'm gonna be using you guys as my mirror a lot of time so if we make intense eye contact i'm kidding <laughs> i should probably tie my hair back ginger my black girl's known discoloration of the underarms like i literally have no hair it's just discoloration but i don't really care and you shouldn't either let's be real i'm kind of excited to be in my room doing this is that like weird i like doing this like on my bed like in my space as you can see i don't have like any posters up or anything i'm going to change that don't worry whenever i start my makeup i always do my brows first i typically don't use any product in my brows because they are dark and thick so i usually just go in with gel i use eco styler gel for my eyebrows but i don't want to get up and go get it i just take this clear mascara that i have um that i got from this little random boutique in a plaza and i just use that to comb through my eyebrows and flatten them out one thing about me and makeup is that my eyebrows need to be perfect Okay, they're semi-similar. Oh my gosh, don't don't play with me, bro. Y'all know I will spend 40 minutes doing this. Next thing I do is take the Poreless Face Primer by e.l.f. I just apply it in my T-zone mostly because that's where the majority of the product's gonna go. Primer is pretty good. I don't really have large pores, so I don't really deal, or at least I don't know if I do. Like, I don't wanna lie. I don't think I deal with the problem of having large pores, so I can't really speak for my big pore baddies out there, but it's decent. It's pretty good. Next thing I go in with is my powder and I use the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Powder in Deep. I'm pretty sure I'm using this the wrong way. So I just take a little bit of this powder and I also put that in my T-zone. So under my eyes, on my nose, my chin, around my mouth too. Wet 
One thing that I do love about this powder is that it really already looks like I have foundation on my face. But I don't. Maybe Wet n Wild was was a little wild for this. <laughs> After I apply my powder to my face, I go back into my eyebrows. Even though I put no product in it and I already like combed it out, I still like the precise and sleek look of using concealer to clean them up. It's just, it's too bad. It's like baddie certified, you know? The concealer that I use is the LA Girl Pro Conceal in the shade Fawn. I like to put the product on the back of my hand and use a brush because it gives me more control. And one thing about me, when I do my brows, I'm not finna talk. <laughs> this is do or die. hair that is <sighs> that was a close one just pull it down like so like that then I take this beauty blender. I know it looks humongous. It's actually a body beauty blender. Okay, there it is, all carved out. And we're gonna do the same for the other side. I know they look really different right now, but we're gonna fix it. No, I, I use a little bit of a mouse tool. Surprise tool that will help us later. <laughs> Anyways, so now we're getting into our face. And like I said, it's my everyday makeup routine. So I don't really, I don't really put a lot. I actually take the conceal that's on my hand and I add a little bit more. And then I also take my foundation and I mix them together. The foundation that I use is the Maybelline Fit Me Foundation. I'm sure everyone's heard of this. In the shade 356. So I just take a little bit of my foundation. I take a little bit with my brush. I plop it right next to my concealer. And I mix the two together. So not something too light. I know that on camera, it literally looks like <laughs> Trust me, it's not. Once I have that, I place it on my face. So now that we have this applied, I give my NYX Matte Finish Setting Spray a little shake and I just spray it all over my face. Whew. I'm not even sure this does anything. I feel like we genuinely just buy setting spray just to buy it. I feel like it's water in a bottle, but I could be wrong. Any makeup company wants to send me any of their setting sprays to, to prove me wrong, go ahead and do that. <laughs> Then I go in my beauty blender and I blend it all out. And boom, shakalaka. Now that we're done with the base, we're going back to the eyebrows. I promise this is the last time we're going back to the eyebrows, I swear. I go in with my Fit Me foundation once again, and I carve the tops of my brows. So after inspecting my eyebrows and seeing that they are mother and father instead of sisters, I go in with some eyeshadow. Ooh, my fault. I go in with some eyeshadow in my unfortunate James Charles palette. Why do we even hate James again? I know there's a reason. Someone remind me. So I go in with this dark brown color here and I fill in any patches at the end of my eyebrow. And also I create a longer tail on this eyebrow 
because this one's way longer than this one. So I just extend it as well. I always mostly need to do the fixing on this eyebrow because I love this shape. This one's arched and this one has a round arch. This one has a sharp one and I just want to tone it down with a shadow. Like this one is just not as, as this one. And you guys know I can't live with it. You know I won't tolerate it. Going back in. I literally said this is an everyday makeup look and I'm already like trying to do way too hard. <laughs> Trust me, this is my everyday. Either most days I don't care this much or I get it right on the first try. Now that we're finally done with our brows, going back down to the face. <laughs> I'm gonna take this brush right here. It's like fluffy angled brush. And I'm going to go back into the James Charles palette and use this mauve color for blush. One thing that I've learned as being a black girl who loves to do her makeup is that eyeshadow is really your best friend. Not just for eye looks, but when it comes to literally anything. Blush, contour, it's your bestie. I usually take my blush into my eye like this for whatever reason, I don't know why, I just do it. After that, I go into highlight. So I take this natural face palette. It's no, it's no name brand thing, but I love it. It has really nice highlight color. So I go in with this color right here and just put on the tops of my cheeks. After the highlight, I highlight my nose and my cupid's bow with this color right here in the James Charles palette. I don't really contour my nose. I kind of do this thing that I, I, I like to call reverse contour where I literally just put my concealer shade in the middle and let my skin color be the contour. You know what's really funny? I used to get bullied for my cupid's bow. The that's another reason why bullying genuinely doesn't make sense. What am, what am I like? What am I supposed to do about having a strong cupid's bow? It's not my fault. Check the punish squares. <laughs> now we move to the eyes. We move. We move. We move. For the eyes in this routine, I just do a simple bright inner corner. I take my Huda Beauty. I take my Huda Beauty palette. It's the Mercury retrograde one. So I just take these three colors here and I just put that in my inner corner. Then with that excess product, I like to bring it over my eyelids. Just have a nice shimmer lid. Just like that. Ooh, so cute. Next thing for the eyes is I go in with an angled brush and apply black to the, to the, what do you call it? Top of my eye with black eyeshadow. I take my micellar water and I apply on the brush and I go back in the godforsaken James Charles palette and I dip it in the black because I saw a hack a while ago that said if you put um, micellar water on a brush and dip it into any eyeshadow you can make it into a graphic liner and it's actually true now we're going to the lashes I don't really like to put on the falsies. Falsies just genuinely give me an aneurysm. So whenever I try to do my everyday look, I stray away from the falsies and just try to enunciate my natural eyelashes. I'm going to go back in with my clear mascara and apply two coats of this. And I'm telling you guys, 
my lash combo <laughs> is lethal. We are going in with the Maybelline Lash Sensational Mascara and putting two coats of that on top of the clear. And those are the lashes. Gotta add some accents to the face. So I'm just taking some eyeliner here to the e.l.f. liner in jet black and adding my dots. Boop. There we go. Finally, we're getting to the last bit of it, yeah? We're doing our lip. So for the lips, I take this brown lip liner. It's definitely a wet and wild brown eyeliner, but I feel like nobody actually uses lip liners. Anyways, I just line my lips with this dark brown here. Then I go into my Huda Beauty Mercury Retrograde Palette once again. I really love to enunciate the two-toneness of my lips. Love being black. Love being black. <laughs> so I go in with this purple color here and I put it on my top lip. And I really make sure I blend it in with my um, liner. <music> then lastly for the gloss, I take my NYX Butter Gloss in Paraline. Making up a song about Paraline. Not because I would have been with the father. <laughs> I would have been with the other side. I'm sorry. You had that good, good food too. You want to be eating mush all your life? Caroline, get back in that door. I usually just put it on my bottom lip because I want the top lip to stay dark. So what I do is I just take it and put it on my finger and just apply it on top. Like so. And that is it. This is the final look. Yeah, what else am I supposed to say? I really hope you enjoyed this look. I know I didn't really come on here with the final product cause like my edges aren't done, but stop expecting black girls to have their edges done, shut up. Anyway, make sure you guys give this video a like if you liked it and subscribe to be part of my online family. I would love to have you. Make sure you guys comment down below if you guys try any of the things that I did in this video or just if you like the video period or if you just want to talk to me, hey, I always respond, hey. If there's anything specific you guys also want to see me upload or any type of specific videos that you want to see me do, comment them down below. I'm always open to new ideas. Make sure you guys follow my social media. It will be on the end card and in the description box down below. And I'll see you guys in my next upload, which hopefully won't be in another month. Bye!